So now, what are the goals of the course? This particular course, like I mentioned, is a professional level understanding of biology. This is where we start. So what we're going to do, our primary objective, of course, then is to prepare you for that professional learning. And that really involves two things. That involves mastery of the theories of biology. And in this particular class, we're going to be looking at internal living systems. In other words, we're going to be looking at how cells function, how the molecules within those cells function, and so forth. The second semester is more what we call skin out biology. In other words, we look at how it is that individuals interact in ecosystems and so forth. That's Bio 182. So that's our job, is to really look at the three major foundational theories, cell theory, natural selection and evolution, and genetics. Those are our three main things. The other thing that we're going to be working on is to develop problem solving skills that a professional biologist has to master, completely master them. Uh, these are primarily mathematical, so we will do some computation and some mathematics, although not a lot. So if you haven't had a lot of mathematics in your background or you're uncomfortable with mathematics, uh, it's not going to be something that's going to be particularly onerous. However, you will be doing a fair amount of actual computation in the class. Now notice the key words here that I've been using. The word is master, not learn. We're not learning the foundational theories, we're mastering them. There's a difference. Learning simply means that you have an acquaintance with something and that you've seen it before and that you've learned it and, and understood it, maybe taken an exam on it. Mastery is something different. Mastery means that you know it so completely and so well that you can use it and you can teach it. That's our goal. I want you to be able to do that because here's the point. This class is the foundational class of most of the upper division courses that you're going to take. Cell biology, molecular biology, developmental biology, all of these upper division classes that you as a professional student are going to be studying. So I want you to take this material with you. That's the path to success. I want you to be successful, so that's what we're going to focus on, really mastering these things. Now notice I've been talking a lot about biology and about people who are going into medicine and going into biological research, going into biological teaching. This course certainly is, that, is primarily focused on that group of students. However, I do want to point out that it also is an appropriate course for students in other sciences, chemistry, physics, geology, anthropology, whatever it happens to be, including engineering and mathematics. So all of those students in those courses as majors, as for their major, uh, will do well in this class. This, this class will support them. I do want to point out, however, that this class is quite difficult. And it, again, it's focused at a professional level. So students who are not wanting to become professional scientists, engineers, or mathematicians, may not find this course to be all that enjoyable. So I just want to warn you that we will be focused very, very strongly on developing professionals in this field. That's what the course is designed for. That's not my choice. That's the choice of the curriculum developers that developed all of this years and years and years ago. So if you're not in, uh, majoring in science or engineering or math, I would really strongly suggest that you switch to a non-majors biology class like Bio 100, pardon me, Bio 105, Bio 108. Bio 100 is a general biology for non-majors, so it covers much of the same material we do, but just at a very, very different level. Bio 105 is environmental biology, and it will teach, uh, again, at the non-majors level, how it is that humans interact with the environment, and Bio 108 is plants and society, which is focused primarily on how it is that, that uh, human beings interact with the plants in our environment. So all of those could be quite useful. But if you're in science, biology especially, you're definitely in the right place. The next step now is to go to the course website, which can be found here at this URL right here, faculty.scottsdalecc.edu slash teaching slash bio181. In fact, you should already know this since this is where you found this video that you're watching now. This is the course website, and it is uh, the only website that we're going to use in the course. We do not use Blackboard. And it has all the material that you need for the course. First of all, this is the welcome page. And it also contains on the welcome page various uh, uh, pieces of information that will pop up throughout the semester. This is where I'll post announcements and things like this. Our first announcement is that the laboratories do not meet the first week of class. So the first week, if you, have, you didn't know that already, we're not meeting in lab. And secondly, the laboratory uh, that is going to be involved in library research 
uh, has a prerequisite, and I'll give you more information about that now, but if you want to take a look at that, you can do that right here. So there's a whole bunch of other information that uh, is going to support the course, and it's under here, under Bio 181. These are all the courses that I teach and other things that I'm involved with in my teaching. If you click on Bio 181, it gives you this drop-down menu where you can find the syllabus. Your first assignment is to download whichever syllabus it is that is the appropriate one for you. The Monday, Wednesday section is here. The Tuesday, Thursday section is here. Laboratory schedule is here, and the official uh, Maricopa Community College District curriculum for this course is here, so it gives you a sense of exactly what it is we're going to do. The syllabus, then, is something that I do want you to read. If you click on this, it'll pop up with a PDF. There's the PDF, and I want you to read through this very carefully. We're going to go through it cursorily uh, in the uh, uh, lecture here today, uh, but I do want you to go through this and read it all the way through carefully. Uh, and I also want you to note that at the very end of this, the very last page, all the way down at the bottom, is this. And this is the schedule, which will give you the date of the lecture. It'll give you the lecture title. It'll give you your reading assignment. Your first reading assignment is already given to you here. It's going to detection, which I'll talk about in just a moment. And it gives you information about the lab, which lab is coming up. And again, the first week, there are no labs. This section here, this skills section, is a section in your textbook section is a set of green pages relatively early in the book and they're called bioskills and they each have a number what I want you to do is to start in your second reading assignment after the baloney detection kit I want you to start reading that bioskills 12 and then 15 17 18 you'll see what I mean when you turn to that section of your book they actually each bioskill has its own uh, number this means you would read chapter 2 now you can do this in any way you want. You can read the chapter and the skills before this lecture, or you can read them after the lecture, or what I would recommend is skim these chapters and skills before you come to lecture, and then read them carefully after you come to lecture. So this then gives you basically the entire course in a nutshell. And notice it tells you when the examinations are, which I'll go through here in just a moment. It also shows you when our uh, vacations are, and it gives you the information about when the final exam is. So all of that is there on the syllabus, and again, I would like you to read that very, very carefully uh, before we get started uh, the next time we meet. <clears throat> also, if you come here, the drop-down menu gives you lectures. So if you click on lectures, you've seen then <clears throat> all of the lectures are here, and you can download them all the way through the rest of the entire semester if you would like. I will revise them as we go, so be prepared. You may download something, and it may not actually uh, be exactly what you download when, by the time I give it. The laboratories will be handed out, but also if you lose it or you want to uh, have it uh, with you, you can come here and download them, and you can uh, go ahead and, and uh, make copies, as, as many copies as you'd like. The readings, which include both required and recommended readings, are going to be given to you here. The first two readings are this one, Blowney Detections and Tools of Science. You click on that, it pops up with this PDF. I would like you to read this carefully. That's your first reading assignment. And Cornell Note-Taking System is a system of note-taking uh, that I want you to consider using. To survive in this class, to do well in this class, to master the material, is going to require that you take notes in the class. So taking notes means you not only have to be in class at uh, the entire class time, but also that you're paying attention and writing things down and making sure you have a complete record of all of the uh, lecture so you know exactly what's coming on the exams. So that is a second reading assignment that's required right off the bat here. Probability handout, scientific notation, these other things are recommended readings, not required. So as we go, you'll see these pop up and I'll refer to them as I go through the lectures. In addition, then, there's research presentation guidelines. This is something I'll talk about here in a moment. But during this semester, you're going to be doing a research presentation in the laboratory. This gives you information about it. We're not really uh, required to deal with that right at the moment because that's later in the semester. I'll explain that as we go. Lab data. As we go throughout the uh, semester, you'll be uh, generating laboratory data. And I will post it here so that you can then download it and analyze it uh, after you go home after the laboratory. We also have a vocabulary list for you uh, that is giving you the key terms and the key concepts in each of the units. So if you look at the way the course is structured, it's set up as a series of four units. The first one is called Nature Scientific Thought. Here are the main concepts that are in that particular unit. Then the second unit is Transmission, Genetics, and Evolution. Here are the main concepts and so on. So as you 
as you continue to page down, you'll see the other two units as well. And then finally, there's this online lesson, viruses. We're almost certainly not going to need that, but uh, if we do, we'll explain that as we go. So that's what I want you to do. I'd like you to go through the entire website here just to get a sense of what's available and what resources that you have available to you online.